Where did you go uh, on that day when the Capitol was invaded? And as a freshman, uh, you didn't know, you knew less than most members about how many options there were and what the escape routes might be. I certainly didn't know much of anything about the escape routes. I was in the House chamber. I was in the thick of it, um, seated with the Democratic House leadership team. Um, I'm the youngest member of the House leadership, and the speaker the day before had asked me to join her and others, uh, Steny Hoyer and the like. And we were listening to this ridiculous debate over mass voter fraud that did not actually exist. Uh, And then things quickly became more dramatic when someone at the sergeant at arms or the Capitol Police made the announcement that the Capitol had been breached that the same mob that had breached the Capitol was likely headed towards us in the House chamber, uh, which was a harrowing uh, announcement, to say the least, uh, followed by a a locking down of that chamber and instructions to retrieve gas masks and to prepare to lie down on the floor in the event of gunfire. And in the nick of time, we were in a more secure location, but not without great confusion and not without first going to a completely unsafe location. Well, what was the unsafe location that you went to? It was the cafeteria that I and and Sherry Bustos and a few other folks uh, went to due to the complete lack of of clarity with respect to where we ought to go after we had narrowly escaped uh, through one of the one of the side doors of the house chamber uh, after a hallway had been barricaded. And did did you then gather with the rest of the house members who were in that place where most of them were? Yes, uh, we were then es- escorted to the appropriate place and what was supposed to be a more secure location where I quickly observed to my colleagues that I was more afraid of getting COVID-19 from, uh, from my Republican colleagues who even in that room of about 200 people were still refusing to wear their masks even after just well, days earlier the Republican caucus had died from COVID-19 than I was mm-hmm. of being killed by one of the mob members. Well, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was afraid of being that r- in that room, too, and refused to stay in that room. Uh, but for an additional reason, let's listen to what she said about that tonight. We did find out what the extraction point was, and we found out that all the members of Congress were being directed to this one point. And with the amount of uncertainty in this situation, um, I just felt like... I'm not going there. Like, there were members who were live tweeting the location of the speaker that were probably going to be in that extraction point. They were still, there was still uncertainty about whether there were still bombs throughout the city. Um, It just legitimately did not feel safe. Uh, With uh, Republican members like Marjorie Taylor Greene and others, uh, she was afraid to be in the room with them because she thought the location could be betrayed by them. And for good reason. I shared her concern. You know, in that room, there was an announcement made by uh, the respective caucus chairs, Hakeem Jeffries and and Liz Cheney, uh, that members in that room were live tweeting and otherwise doing interviews, revealing our location, uh, despite having been instructed for obvious reasons that frankly should not have required instruction. Uh, not to not to disclose the whereabouts of 200 members of Congress who had just narrowly escaped a massacre in the House chamber minutes before. Uh, you cannot trust a number of these people, and that is that is an extraordinary thing to say about uh, you know about your colleagues in the United States Congress. But the fact is that a number of these people, in addition to having incited that violent insurrection that we saw, uh, likely were coordinating. Uh, more more explicitly with 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 these people, and so and the investigation is ongoing. And every every day we learn more about um, the, the level of um, the level of involvement of a number of our colleagues. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news, and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.